What's up guys, Joel Valley here from Media Glitch and uh, with me, I'm just gonna jump into this. Dylan, Miranda, say hello. Hey everybody. Uh, if you're coming back from commercial, thank you so much for your watching this on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe button. And I just wanna say a special thank you to our Patreon people. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, thank you so much. We got a uh, very short time. Uh, before we have to cut to our next commercial and the show basically I went too long on the last segment So let's get right into this Dylan the villain you have actually a comment of the week Yep, and what is that comment of the week? Let's get to that huh? Comment of the week comes from Kitsune Sama says did yes. I like this segment? No, I loved it. All this stuff is not junk at all. They were relics Unbelievable he has all these things whoever had these relics in the 90s controlled the gaming universe And He's talking about John's junk <laughs> Yep. So if you so guys haven't checked out, if you haven't video. seen John's junk, it's on the internet, and you can watch it. So, all right, uh, you got a game. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the game that we're gonna you're reviewing today? Yeah, absolutely. So let's take a look at the Slater. So this is game this is Christian Slater. No. Okay. No, okay. No. Go ahead. <laughs> this game is made by Lena Interactive. Uh, it was actually just released at the time of the shooting today. Uh, it's fourteen ninety nine on Steam. This game is about. Um, the, the, this guy, he's, he's basically a hitman, and I, I guess he's... Uh, they all, they're all bald. Right. All hitmen are bald, right. just so you know. This is correct. Uh, and him and, I guess, his father were kind of involved in tracing down this, this drug, D-Pain. Oh, okay. When uh, his, his... That's an interesting name. <laughs> okay, go on. <laughs> his dad got a little too close to things and ended up getting himself killed. So now you're on a vengeance. You know, you got to track down all these people involved in making this drug, and you got to take them out. Okay. That's like a so, scene straight out of Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. Yeah, yeah. It looks like yeah that so I mean the game, it's, it's, it's awesome in a lot of ways. It's really cinematic. It's got these nice cutscenes. The graphics are really good. Uh, as you load up in the level, it kind of gives you your dossier, your mission, should you choose to accept it. Type oh, thing. nice. So uh, you got, it shows you pictures of all the guys you're tracking down. It gives you a nice little voiceover saying exactly what you're going to do for the mission. Uh, Does it, it blow you, up at the end, the yeah. mission, like to self-destruct? No. Okay. I wish. All right. Awesome. Sorry. Keep going. Uh, but uh, and it's also got this this map with like basically kind of you know mm -hmm. I guess super crazy technology where they show you every single person's location, tracking where they're going. Uh, it, it, it's nice. amazing. So I I really I really enjoy the gameplay. So we can kind of jump right into that. Um, this is it's got a it's got a whole toolbox for you to enjoy. So we'll take a look here. So it's got. These security cameras, so you can scope out the scene as you're nice. moving in to uh, find your target and assassinate them. You have control of these? Yeah, so uh, you have control of, uh, there are different points inside the map in which you can walk up and find these things, and oh. you gotta utilize your environment to your, oh, your advantage. Look at chokes, just the, the first around. option there. Like, Not great, <laughs> just <laughs> choke. So the game's got a little bit of oddities. So got this some is the, in there? This is the, the developer's first uh, title okay. that they oh. published. I did check and see this is the first title that they published. So um, you walk around, you do these different things. The, uh, the You can disable security cameras. You can, like that guy, I, I set a car alarm and uh, uh, he came to investigate. So I, gotcha. I'm, I uh, snapped his neck and then stole his outfit. Cause because hey, that's, that's, that's just what you, what you do. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. But the one thing I particularly love about this game is all these different tools that it gives you it really uh, leads into some really interesting gameplay and mechanics. I think the developers did a great job in designing the different elements that you can use. Uh, okay. You've got multiple different uh, ways that you can handle each objective. So all your targets that you're killing in the game, you can take the time to uh, find the special items. You can take the time to try and avoid killing civil civilians. Uh, you can uh, sit, sit there and, and find all these secrets and objectives that normally, uh, you know, you, you wouldn't find otherwise right. in order to reach your goal. So, so there's multiple ways, because that is like Hitman. Yeah. Where you had multiple ways you could get Absolutely. to your target and multiple ways to eliminate your target. Yeah, you can just, you can take out your gun and start shooting people, or you can... GTA style? You, you can be <laughs> stealthy and, and walk around. Now this game, I do want to note that it is a very difficult game. Uh, there is no saving, there is no checkpoint. So once you load into a stage, you... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... But you, you can save after the stage is done. Yeah, after the stage is uh, done. You so. made me sound, they made it right. sound like you gotta go through the Yeah, whole one, one and done. No, no, uh, for each level that you're in, there's okay. only one chance to get to do it so okay. you learn new I things. I think I like that. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you really get to know the patterns and the way people Kids move inside today the game. don't know how we had it. Back right. In. You don't know how we had it. How old are you? Uh, Dylan uh, the villain? I'm 23. You play a lot of retro? 
Yeah, I've played a lot of Richard. My old actually. folks here know what I'm saying. Yeah, look at Richard. He knows what's happening. Rest assured. Man, well, we didn't have a checkpoint, save point every two seconds like they have now. Well versed yeah, in my gaming history, so. What's that? You gotta remember the game. Yeah, you gotta memorize it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you fail the first time, you're going right back in with that I like knowledge. It. I like, like that so aspect. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, let's move into my last little little bit here. So this is assassination, assassination puzzling. Okay. So, uh, like like we're kind of mentioning, there's all these different ways that you can. You. Uh, yeah, they they're like halts. You can't come in here. You're not wearing a bathrobe. You know. Uh, oh, sorry. Let me go get one on. This is no the pool. Suits allowed. No, no suits allowed in here. And they're like, okay, you're cool. <laughs> yeah. Come on through. There's a strict dress code inside this I love facility. the choke is a constant option that appears on the screen. <laughs> Every single time you walk into somebody, that's the only option you have. <laughs> choke. choke. Yes. This is not teaching good <laughs> Oh, entire... you did them like that, dude? Oh, so oh. this one I had a hard time with. They did... That poor guy, he's just a civilian. But I could not figure out how to get the oh. stupid pass to get through the level. There is a way to go through every single level without killing civilians, but this poor guy, I'm just gonna dump him inside the laundry basket, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Jeez, so, you're hardcore. So I, uh, I'm spoiling a little bit, but there's there's like 30 different assassinations in this game, and all of them have like three different ways you can do it. So I'm showing you a like step-by-step of one way that I killed this guy. Right. So I, I had to get the bathrobe. I had to kill the, the dude in the bathroom when he was isolated to get his badge. Then I walked in here and Inside the, uh, the the maintenance room, I found a vial of rat poison. I found my target. He's hanging out at the bar. I kind of like step back a little bit, so I'm not suspicious. I'm like looking over his shoulder. Of course, you're about to <laughs> poison him, right? Yeah, so I'm like, oh, I'll just take a seat over here. Oh, never mind. He's walking away. Drop that poison in there. So th th eventually, he comes back, takes a drink of it. I find him later on in the bathroom, puking his guts out. So I take him out. Nice. Very uh, hitman. -ish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but what's awesome is every time you kill somebody, Dang, it, it goes slow motion. I will mention that this game has a lot of mature content. So Okay, so kids at home, don't play. Yeah, just like little kids. Not not only the violence, but it also has some like nudity and strong language. So And adults, well, it's up to you. Definitely be aware. <laughs> uh, not Would much to mention on the soundtrack. The soundtrack was okay. The okay. graphics I thought were pretty good and the gameplay was stellar. So awesome. For a first time game, it's a very ambitious title. Absolutely. Yeah, it looks great for our first time developers. I got 30 seconds to close this thing out. You have anything else you want to say? No. Thanks so much. You for recommend it? What's the price? Code. Uh, the code is $14.99 on Steam. I definitely recommend it. Okay, there you go, guys. So, again, got to leave. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, the whole show. If you're watching this on TV, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell button. And we will see you next time. Bye bye. Hey guys, I just want to take a minute and thank you for watching that video. We really appreciate it here. I just want to thank all you guys for the support that you have given this channel. And I also want to thank our Patreon people. Uh, special thanks to them for helping us get some of the items that we have on our sets and things like that. We really, really appreciate you guys. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And there's some videos up here. Maybe you guys want to uh, click on one of those to see what else we have in our library, our video library. and also. Also, I just want to say, please share this content uh, on social media. Get the word out there. We just want Media Glitch to grow so we can get, do bigger and better things. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. We appreciate it here. Uh, I'm speaking on behalf of all the staff of Media Glitch. We'll see you guys.